It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. The guy on the phone today to do an Awkward Tuesday phone call sent in an email that simply said, quote, I willfully did something that would hurt my girlfriend's feelings. What? She doesn't know about it, and I need your help. Whoa. He's come to the right place, because I know a thing or two about hurting a girlfriend's feelings. <laughs> I have done that on many occasions. So, yes, so sad. Chris, I think you made the right choice in contacting us to help you with your issue. How you doing, man? I'm all right, guys. Yeah. Oh, you don't buddy. sound all right. <clears throat> yeah. I, I don't know. I think... Uh, I think I really screwed things up. All right, your, oh, your email that you sent in was kind of unclear. It said that you did something that your girlfriend doesn't know about that will hurt her feelings, but you never specified what that is. So what did you do? I, I, had, a, I had a pretty major lapse in, in judgment. All right. Were you drunk or were you sober when you did this? I was sober. Mm, nothing That's to blame it worse. on either. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? I cheated on her. Oh, what? Was, oh, that definitely will hurt your girlfriend's feelings. Oh, dude. Here's the thing: that I, you know, I, I didn't do it physically. I did it emotionally. You had an emotional affair what? on your girlfriend, is what you're saying? How <laughs> was that? Yeah. Um, I didn't know that dudes subscribe to the emotional affair thing. I know that girls <laughs> have said it all the time. It's like I had an emotional affair with that guy. We didn't touch, but I just. We were just like besties in our heads, and then I thought maybe one time I might kiss him, and I didn't, and I cheated on you. I'm oh sorry. My God. You know, there Is are... that what you mean? <laughs> I just, I, I'm so, it's hard, because I, I, I had this one time, I had this really impure thought of, of, of my coworker. Can we slow still down. waiting for the cheating part. Hey, Chris, I'm still waiting for the cheating part. You had a fantasy about your coworker? It was bad, guys. It was so bad, Chris. And, and it wasn't like it wasn't even like a dream or anything, Chris. Um, I'm still waiting for the part where you cheated on her. <laughs> Jubal, you be nice to him. That, guys, that that is cheating. Because if I ever okay. found out that she was ever having the same kind of thoughts about another guy, that's the thing. But a, but a fantasy about somebody just one time. In my mind, we we didn't go all the way, but it was pretty serious. <laughs> If this is in your fantasy, you didn't go all the way. You're not talking about in real life. No way. No way. I would not go that far. But <laughs> Chris. she means so much to me. And for me to think like about my coworker like that, is, is, it's, it's not right. This is very, uh, very commendable. It is? Yeah. It is. You, I mean, you know, he have... really wants to be faithful to his I woman. Guess. You can't argue against that. I mean, that is a beautiful thing. Yeah, but Chris, you just had a thought, man. Yeah. You didn't, and you, you just got animated when you said you wouldn't do anything about it. Are you sure you really need to come clean about this? Well, it's just that when I see my girlfriend, it's awkward. And then when I see my coworker, it's, it's, it's weird. And <laughs> the tension is just building and building and I, I just need to release it. Oh, don't say it like okay. that, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> There's a better way no, to phrase it. I want to tell her the truth. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I just want to tell her the truth. Well, explain to me exactly what happened. Just one day I was sitting at the office, and I, and I look at her desk, and I just saw her, and I just had this horrible, impure thought. <laughs> did, it make you, did it make you excited where you couldn't stand up from your desk for a while? No way. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, those are strictly reserved for the woman that he's intimately touching Jeez, physically, look. not for <laughs> fantasy girls. Right, Chris? I know that you're like poking fun at me, and, and I listen to the show, and I, and, I, and I love what you do, but I mean, this is really a, a big deal for me. Okay. Uh, I really I need some help. So you want to call your girlfriend and tell her about this impure thought that you had? Yes. And how do you think she's going to react? That's why I'm freaking out. I, I think she's probably going to break up with me. Really? Whoa. How long have you guys been together? Really? Uh, a year. A year. And are things moving like you're thinking marriage type stuff? Things are totally going in the right direction. She could definitely be the one. Way to screw that up, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All what with that not? one thought. <laughs> I know. I know. Chris, <laughs> thought about wow. one person for like yeah. a second is what it sounds like. Oh, man. Guys, it, it doesn't matter. I had that thought, and I need to come clean about it. Okay? All right. Okay. Well, no. we'll play a song, come back, <laughs> give you some advice, and then you can make your Awkward Tuesday phone call. All right. Thanks, guys. All right, man. Stay pure. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. It's Tuesday. 
It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. Everybody kind of has their own definition of cheating. For mm-hmm. some people, it's if you kiss somebody. Mm-hmm. For some people, it's if you touch somebody inappropriately. <laughs> For me, I don't consider it cheating if you use a condom. What? Anything else is good. <laughs> what are you talking about? Never make any real contact there. <laughs> So that you're always good as long as you use protection. Technically, you've never cheated. Oh, my yep. God, you're a Never great. cheated ever <laughs> one time. And Chris, who's on the phone with us right now, he has a different <laughs> definition of cheating than all of us in studio for sure. Chris had an impure thought about one of his coworkers, and now he wants to come clean to his girlfriend about it in an awkward Tuesday phone call because, in his opinion, that's cheating. Yeah. That's right, guys. Can I ask you, I know you and your girlfriend have been dating a year. Are you guys waiting for marriage? You know, I think things are heading in, in that direction, and I think ultimately that's that's what I would like. Okay. No, I meant, like, are you waiting to do it with yeah. your girlfriend until you get married? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, no. You're so um, nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so you have. Yeah, yeah. All right. Nice. Chris, you stud. <laughs> okay, so I'm going gonna, gonna to dial the phone number right now and let you make your Awkward Tuesday phone call. Okay, thanks. Good luck. <laughs> Hello? Hey, sweetie, what's going on? Hey, babe, how are you? Good. Uh, how's your day going? Uh, not bad, just getting some stuff done. What's up? Um, I just, um, I wanted to call you... I just wanted to, there's something that I needed to, to tell you. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, no, but yeah. Um, it's just, it, there's something that, um, that happened and, um, and I just, I need to tell you. What happened? Well, it's, 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 it's pretty bad. And, um, and I, I don't, I don't know how you're going to take it. Okay. I just, uh, I hope, I hope that you'll respect me when I'm done telling you what happened. Chris, what's going on? You're freaking me out. Um, I was sitting at work um, last week, and um, and across the, the one of the cubicles from me is uh, one of my female coworkers, and. Um, and I, and I don't I don't know why I I did this, um, but I, I kind of had a, a, a fantasy about her coming over to my cubicle and um, sitting um, like unbuttoning my my shirt and um, and um, sitting on my lap and um, yeah. What? I'm I'm so I feel so so guilty about this because our relationship is just about uh, trust and 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 being open. Wait, wait, Chris, this did this really happen or did you imagine it? No, I I, I imagined it. You you imagined your coworker unbuttoning your shirt and sitting on your lap, and you felt the need to tell me about it. I'm really did, sorry. I know that you probably want to break up with me, but I just... Whoa, Chris. Whoa. Okay, I just, you... I, I needed to something just tell you. But it didn't actually happen, right? No. And is this something that you want to happen? No. I tried to forget about it immediately, and I, I just felt so guilty about it all week. Okay, Chris, Chris, calm down. This is... Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm sorry you feel bad. I mean... I know I'm your first girlfriend, but this is kind of normal. And that's why I want to respect you and do this right. Oh, I don't think you don't respect me. I mean, thank you for telling me, but this is not the end of the world, you know? I mean, here's the thing. There's a girl who's attractive. I'm not, you're not supposed to not notice that. But it's, but I mean, this is something that happens. I I pictured it. You know, these Thoughts like pop into your head every so often. It happens to me. What? What do you mean yeah. it happens to you? Oh, you just, I don't know. When your mind wanders, you, it's not a big deal. What, you've done that? It's nothing serious. I mean. With, with who? Um, who have you? 
I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not a big no, deal. We have to be, you have to tell me who have you, who have you done it? Who have you thought about it with? Well, okay. I don't know. It's not like I have a specific example. I'm just saying I've done it before, you know? What? You've done it so much you can't even remember who? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even handle it anymore. Oh hello? <laughs> oh, hello? Well, wait. What's going on? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. <laughs> and Chris, your boyfriend, wanted to call you and come clean about his fantasy in an awkward Tuesday phone call. Sweet Chris. Chris, what's going on? I wanted to reach out to these guys to help me out because I didn't know how to break this news to you. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'm having a tough time dealing with the fact that you've done this, too. Chris, are Chris, you serious? Chris, it's very natural for people to have these thoughts. I heard in that conversation something that you didn't tell us. This is your first girlfriend? Yeah, but that doesn't, it shouldn't make a difference. I, would, I hope that I'm enough for somebody. Yes. Hey, that doesn't mean that you're not enough for me. That's not what that is. I don't know how you can say that and then have all these thoughts about all these other men that you can't well, remember. No, it's the not name all of. these other men. It's not. It's not what, did all you the have thoughts. With Dwayne, did you have thoughts with Dwayne? Stop! I'm just saying it happens, and I'm it's, I'm sure it's happened to me before. I just I don't understand. You're the only person that I thought of until a week ago, and now I'm like freaking out, and then you're telling me that it's like everyone that you ever see or something. I don't <laughs> no, I don't think that's what she was trying to say oh at gosh, all, Chris. Sweetheart. Chris, I think what your girlfriend Alyssa is trying to say is that it's okay that you had that thought and she's not mad at you. And sometimes <laughs> humans being the animals that we are yes. will have fantasies about other humans. Exactly. I mean, just the other day, I got the package from the FedEx guy. I mean, you know, you've met him. And I thought about, oh. you know, I thought about the FedEx guy. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Very common fantasy. <laughs> he, and he delivered the package to the house? Yeah. Oh. How, can you, how can you even have a thought about that guy? You don't even have a relationship with him. He just delivers packages. Well, that, I mean, that's my point. Sometimes it just happens, and it's fine, because you won't do anything about it. We can't, just, we can't walk around just having these kinds of impure thoughts of, of people every time we see them. <laughs> I don't think you guys are fantasizing about everybody you walk by. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not, Alyssa. Yeah, I'm not fantasizing about everyone I walk past. I just need to know that when you're having thoughts, that there's they're just me. You know? Babe. I just don't want anybody else in your head except for me. And of course, you, of course you're the only one in my head. Sometimes we think things and it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you're allowed to have thoughts about other people. If you want to think about somebody else or fantasize about somebody else, you're allowed to. It's okay. I won't feel bad. Really? <laughs> now, you've opened the floodgates, up. Alyssa. Well, you know, I mean, you know what I mean. He's such a great guy. There's nothing's going to happen. If there's somebody who pops in your head, it's not a big deal. Are you sure that you want that? <laughs> I don't think I don't think she's saying that she wants it to happen, but if it does, it's not a big deal, and you shouldn't cry about it and feel like you cheated. Yeah, it's not a deal breaker. It's okay. Should I tell you about it every time it happens? Oh God, no, Chris! Chris, you're turning no, into a creep now. No. Now I don't know what to do with you. Oh my God, that's be the longest relationship <laughs> ever if that were the case. You don't have to tell you about it every time it happens. You don't have to. Okay. Um... <laughs> Well, I'll work. I'll work on that then, and um, I, I'm just really glad that I got this off my off my chest. Thank you. Yeah, oh Alyssa, you found the world's most faithful man. <laughs> I know, Chris. You're the best guy in the whole world. You'd never do anything to hurt me. Never. I would never do anything to make you feel bad. I I I love you. I know. I love you. Oh, great! Now I'm having impure thoughts about both of you. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning. He said, Let